spectrum of obstacles gotcha. Yeah, my sword's all sticky. Cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. Okay. Wait, hold on. Is there any way to put buttons? I need the options. I need that turned up. Okay, yeah, I like that. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, cool. We've made the spider people angry. Lovely. What's wrong? Shh. Time to get destroyed. Circle, when the control mode is at the semi-auto, you will run towards your target until you're close enough to attack. You can then create up to a four-hit combo with additional pressure to the circle. It's possible to level up new arts by leveling up. Ready? Wait, hold on. It can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? Huh. I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the Malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. Remember, you two, common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. Cut it! We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl before something worse finds her. In areas where Hellions roam, making contact with an enemy will launch the battle. By swinging your sword with square or using other map advactions, you can begin the battle with an advantage. Okay. I got a 1.5 grade. One to 20 hits. One, one with... Wait, what? One with all at full HP. One without using items. Okay. Not entirely sure what the grading skill is based off of. I think I'm going to try to switch that over to... I'm going to leave that at 4, actually. Was it here for the battle system? No. Oops. It's not support talents. Where is it at? Okay, here it is. I'm gonna throw this in manual. Okay, so these are just neutral. Gotcha. Treasure chests. You can find treasure chests in dungeons in the field, as well as consumable chests. Can contain equipable items. Whoops. 
These may often have the same name, but they are, but they perform differently depending on the attached skill. You can check any item skill in the equipment menu. Ancient earrings. Earrings discovered among runes said to endow the wearer with an enhanced understanding of nature. So let's go take a quick look at his. Okay, so these ones have an extra one. And they also add to my skill sheet. Wait, what? So now uh, my HP recovers by 50 when using BG. Wait, what? HP recovery when using BG plus 50. Is that a monolith? Searching for monoliths. Scattered throughout dungeons and in fields are stones, monuments, or monoliths, written by persons unknown that detail lost battle techniques. After finding one, you can check its teachings at any time in the battle section of the system book. For each one you find, you will gain AP, which is necessary for setting battle actions. When you find one, press X to investigate it further. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient tongue. Well, Martial Arts. As you fight more battles, you will level up and acquire more martial arts. Charging and Piercing Arts. Mobile and Area of Effect Arts. Switch them up as needed depending on how the battle is going. So up and down is your armor break. Left to right is AoE. Okay. Did I get anything new? Arts wise? Yeah, I doubt I got anything out there. Okay, so you can't actually change these out. What does he have? Oh, he's basically a healer. Uh. Apple gel. Oh, wow, there's a uh, enemy right there. That, uh, let's see, how do I avoid him? I don't think... Where... Where did he go? Actually, I might take that fight. Where did he go? He just up and vanished. I just, I get. Ugh. Oh, never mind. There he is. He's just. Camp in the doorway. Oh, cool. They have the health bars above their head. Oh, huh, that's weird. Well, I guess those rockets not spirit or soul chain, spirit chain. Might as well be close enough though. Spirit chain is the energy needed to create combos in battle. The maximum SC you can have at any one time is 100. Actions such as martial arts will consume your SC, and having low SC, which is what I had, makes you vulnerable. SC can be replenished by being idle, guarding, or moving around. Keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't drop to zero. So yeah, it was a good thing I took this fight. So basically it's your stamina gauge for doing combos. Oh, you can talk to... Uh, whoops. Yeah, and I doubt it's the only one here. We need to get out of here as quickly, or as quietly and quickly as we can. Okay. Nope, nope, jump buttons. And there's another monolith and another treasure chest. Let's go. Oh, and, uh, spiders camping this chest. No! Go away! Can I actually see them on the ceiling? Should be around here somewhere. I think if he's gonna drop back down. Oh, you can see him on the ceiling. We just I can spawn. sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. And I dropped 40 more frames. Uh, I don't know if I should be worried about that or not. 
Maybe. Because that's not working, is when you drop frames. I think everything sounds fine, though. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient tongue. If the enemy guards against your action, SC recovery rate is halved until your next move. So basically, yeah, don't let the enemy guard against you. If an enemy successfully blocks your first attack, it's likely to keep blocking any further ones. Take care not to just combo indiscriminately. Note that this rule applies to enemies as well. If your goal is to deplete their SC, guarding is a smart move. Wait, what did I say? Oh, what the f Okay, so it is square. Guarding. Okay, let's see. Guard with square. Guarding allows you to greatly reduce damage inflicted by enemy attacks as well as reduce your chances of being staggered. For each attack you block, you will recover SC, which is necessary to perform combos. Wait, what? Oh, you just hold it? Oh, shit. Where am I gonna drop my guard? I'm guessing he got stun locked. That's that. Win without you win without a single KO, it's like stunned two times. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, hit points. That was just a hit points thing, I guess. Just telling you that if you take too much damage you die. Ready, okay. I get how this works now. Wait, do you get a dash? Oh yeah, you should get the dash even without her. Pretty cool. Are you okay, Mikleo? I'm gonna take this chance to save. Cause I actually don't know what's coming next. Uh, is there if it's a boss and I'm still getting used to the controls, I'm probably gonna get killed. Uh, I don't think I went over here yet. Anything? Nope. Okay. Quick step. You can quick step with square and then a directional on the move stick. You can quick step forwards, backwards, left, or right. When you close to, uh, when close to a target, you can quick step next to or behind it. Quick steps can be used as part of a combo, and flicking will get you the same effect. How do I. Ow, ow. Okay, so you hit R1. It's over. Ready? No It's over. We do not encounter a stronger foe. Oh, I leveled up. I learned a new art, or Mikolo learned a new art. I got a new title proficiency. He got a title proficiency and equipment proficiency increased. Free run. L2 plus. Oh. Ah, I was wondering how to do that. You got an item, equipment, Mikolo. Equipment proficiency. You can increase your proficiency in an equipable item by equipping the item and then accumulating victories in battle. Your proficiency in any one item can raise to level 5 mechs. 
ciclo